Scott and I'm with the Academic Journeys team. We're tech educators and today we're supporting you in Jamaica in relation to sustainable development goals promoting all 17 across the island. Now we're here in St. Thomas and we have, as you can see behind me, a tent. We have laptops out. We're actually getting people through quizzes on the phones, on the laptops so that they can win prizes. There's also information that they're downloading, there are videos that they're watching and it's a pretty interactive experience. So this is actually the smart zone where all the interaction is happening. Cousins acting senior librarian at the Jamaica Library Service, the Circulations Department. You are standing here at the Jamaica Library Service booth. We are one of the major sponsors for the Go for the Goals Roadshow happening here in Moines Bay, St. Thomas. And we invite you to come along to learn about our programs and services and enjoy our gaming session and use our tablets and other programs that we have here. Good afternoon everyone, my name is Paulette Duncan and I'm the Social Services Home Economics Officer for the parish representing RADA in its glory today. Today more than any, anything else, I'm representing mainly my agro-processors in the parish and I'm sure you can see where all the agro-processing products or even some of the agro-processing products have been highlighted in the parish. My name is Reba Walker and I am here from the National Council on Drug Abuse. So here today we are here highlighting some stuff, talking about marijuana and how can it affect your health. And we have, we have a lot of brochures, so things are there to tell people how oh, it can damage their health and so on. Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and today we're talking about the Sustainable Development Goals and our work with the government of Jamaica to accomplish these goals, to achieve these goals. So what we're trying to demonstrate is how food and agriculture relates to every single one of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you. Smith Communications and Partnerships Officer at UN Environment and this afternoon we're really just trying to make the environment real for people. A lot of the times we think that we're distant from it but the reality is that it's interdependent and so we're taking issues like climate change, how we deal with our plastic and issues of um, marine pollution and clean energy and making it very real to us. How we are doing things to cause problems for the environment but also how we can fix it. That's My name is Samantha Wilmot. I'm the Communications Information and Research Officer for Vision 2030 Jamaica. And we're actually here at the SDGs Go for the Goals Roadshow, showcasing our country's first long-term national development plan, which is Vision 2030 Jamaica. And we're also highlighting the alignment of Vision 2030 Jamaica to the Sustainable Development Goals. We also have some promotional materials for giveaways for persons who actually benefit from the information and are able to answer questions in relation to Vision 2030 Jamaica and its alignment to the Sustainable Development Goals. Alright, so today we are at the Planning Institute of Jamaica's booth. The Planning Institute of Jamaica is one of the three main stakeholders who have been working towards implementing the Sustainable Development Goals in Jamaica. So today we have on showcase items relating to the Sustainable Development Goals. We also have, as you can see, our backdrop 
and the aim of it is to promote the Jamaica we want and we are also the stakeholders that are in charge of Vision 2030 Jamaica. Vision 2030 Jamaica is a project under the Planning Institute of Jamaica and if you look at our tagline we are saying the Jamaica we want, Vision 2030 Jamaica, advancing the sustainable development goals, leaving no one behind. So in fact we are here promoting saying if you implement the sustainable development goals or rather if you implement Vision 2030 Jamaica you're also indirectly you achieve both so that's what our aim is here today welcome to the Statistical Institute of Jamaica's booth today we are showcasing the work that we are doing in respect to the sustainable development goals as an agency, we are designated to monitor the targets that Jamaica meets under the SDG goals. There are 165 targets and as the Jamaica NSO National Statistical Office, it is our responsibility to track how well Jamaica is doing. So for World Population Day, we have some of our information that we took from the 2011 census and we are showcasing to the people of St. Thomas what the census said about them and their information and encouraging them to come to the institute or visit our website at www.statinja.gov.jm and they can access any statistics that they may need to do research, planning, business persons can go on our website or call our office to get information on market trends or number of things imported in Jamaica. Right, I'm Winston Harris, a member of the Community Safety and Security Branch Headquarters and my purpose here really is forging partnership with the St. Thomas citizenry. Uh, the JCF does believe in the sustainable development goals, three of them in fact goals 11, 16 and 17. We would like to see safer, safer cities and communities and that is our purpose here. Name is Mandel Makolski, Acting Public Relations Manager SDC. Uh, SDC is the chief organization responsible for community development which falls under the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development. So we're pretty much here uh, as a partner that, wor that works in the 775 communities across the island to pretty much help to promote the launch and uh, further promotion of uh, the Sustainable Development Plan uh, alongside the Vision 2030 goals. And all of the elders here today, the residents, the citizens, the adults, let's acknowledge you. Thank you for having us here in St. Thomas. We really appreciate you. I declare the initial stage, staging of Go for the Goals Roadshow officially open. Thank you. That most. I am Ms. Ashika Walters and I'm from the Women's Center of Jamaica Foundation. I'm from the Morin Bay Outreach. And what we do is that we recruit girls that are pregnant between the ages of 13 and 17 and had to stop from the regular high school. And we keep them at the center until they have the baby and they are reintegrated into the regular high school. So we offer counseling sessions, classes, and just give them the love and support that they are lacking at home sometimes. Hi, my name is Renee Gauntlet. I'm the Communications and Public Relations Officer at the National Family Planning Board. And we're here today for World Population Day, which is celebrated every year on July 11th. This year's theme is Family Planning is a Human Right. So, of course, we're here to promote family planning. We're promoting planning families, and that means taking the right contraceptives, ensuring that you're not having any unintended pregnancies, and planning a family that planning a family that you can afford. Yeah.